our second sweet of the day, and I like to call it my Some Kind of Wonderful Filo Dough Cups. And I have the remaining 14 sheets of Filo Dough that have been covered with my damp and moist cloth. And it's very simple to make the Filo Dough Cups at home, and I know that you guys are just gonna love this recipe, and it's a lot of fun to make it with kids too. So I'm gonna take our first sheet of Filo Dough, and we are going to lightly butter it with our clarified butter. We still have some left over from our Beltlawa. And I'm gonna take another sheet and layer this right on top. So we're actually doing four sheets of phyllo gel to make our cups. And now I'm just gonna take a small bowl, a circular bowl, and I'm gonna place it right on top. And then I'm gonna take my sharp, small paring knife, and I'm going to trace and cut around the small bowl to make a circular shape. And then that's it. And then you have this beautiful circle, just like so. And then we use our clarified butter and our pastry brush. And I have a cupcake or muffin pan right over here. And then you just place the filo dough circle right in the center, just like that, okay? And you take a little bit more butter and just sort of lightly butter the edges. And I like to put some right in the center too, just like that. How easy is that, right? Okay, so now I'm going to do another one. And for uh, every four sheets of filo dough that we've layered together, we should be able to get six circles. dab of butter for good luck. Good measure. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to get them into our oven along with our butlawa that is baking away. These are only going to bake for about 10 to 12 minutes tops just until they're nice and lightly golden brown. And then we are going to get started on making my sumptuous orange blossom syrup and our canapé cream custard because our butlawa is almost done. for our seasonal sweets that signal the holiday season to me. And I've doubled our recipe because we have three sweets, so that means we need lots of syrup to go around to coat all of them. So I started off with six cups of white granulated sugar. To that, I added three cups of water and the juice of one lemon. And I'm just sort of stirring all of the ingredients together so that the sugar dissolves in the water. And then the lemon also helps the uh, syrup from not crystallizing on you. So it's really important to add the juice of one lemon for double the recipe. And if you wanna make half of the recipe, if you're only doing one sweet, you would just take three cups of sugar with one and a half cups of water and the juice of a half a lemon. So while our syrup is boiling away, we need to start making our canapé cream custard that's gonna be dolloped into our filo dough cups and that's also gonna be lusciously layered for our canapé dream sweet and queen sweet of the Middle East and Lebanon. So I have another stock pot here and we are going to start off with one gallon of heavy cream. You can also use half and half if you like and I'm also doubling the recipe because I need the cream for our filo dough cups and I also need it for our canapé uh, sweet as well. Okay so just like that and now I'm going to get our semolina and you can see that it's this beautiful light golden color. In Arabic, we call it smeed. And it's not to be confused with semolina flour. It's semolina grain. So we are going to add two cups of our semolina into our heavy cream, just like that. And we need a little bit of sweetness to this. So we are going to add a third of a cup of white granulated sugar. Okay, so now we're just taking a whisk and we're just sort of gonna incorporate and really dissolve the semolina, the sneed, and the sugar. And we have our heat on high at this point, and then once it starts to sort of come to a gentle boil, we're gonna lower our heat and then just sort of turn it into this nice thick cream. So our syrup has thickened, and we're just gonna check it one more time, and that's exactly where I want it. It's nice and thick, just ready for our finishing touch, and we're using our orange blossom water essence. We're gonna do about 
two tablespoons because we have double the recipe of our syrup that we're making today for all three of our sweets. And we're just going to simply stir it in just like so. We're going to turn off our heat and that's it for our syrup. And as you can see, my canapé cream custard has beautifully thickened up for us. So I'm just going to turn off our heat immediately. So now we are going to spoon them into our phyllo dough cups that we have right over here. I took them out of the oven and I let them cool so that they could set. I think I'm going to go for this one. Look at that. Aren't they beautiful? They're these nice little phyllo dough cups. So I'm just going to spoon some of our cream while it's nice and hot right into our phyllo dough cups. I have some tasty toppings, some of my favorites, just some whole unsalted pistachio nuts. Just like that, a couple tart dried cherries too, which also looks so festive, especially for the seasons, the holiday seasons, Christmas time, Valentine's, all sort of special occasions. And a little bit of my pistachio powder also. And for a finishing touch, just a little bit of our orange blossom syrup, just like that. Okay, so that looks lovely. I'm just gonna place it on our tiered stand that we have, just like that. Doesn't that look fantastic? It's really such a festive sweet for the seasons and it's nice that everybody can get their own. So I'm just gonna continue to fill up our phyllo dough cups, put our tasty toppings and our syrup to make our tiered sweet stand today. <laughs> Lebanese 